fella. We can be that mistake. Let's do this. What's up, y'all? What's going on, guys? We're Braces Suck 21. Yes, we are. I'm Spencer. And I'm Daniel. Get your bingo cards out. Because the block of this is the channel <laughs> Oasis built, you're going to fill <laughs> that in. Yeah. <laughs> it is, though. Because today we're checking out Liam Gallagher. For and what it's worth. For what it's worth. And what I saw, what I looked up, this is from his first record, um, As You Were. And this is the live performance, and like apparently it's one of his best vocals ever. So, this is something we have never heard on the channel. Uh, yeah, correct. We haven't heard it on the channel yet. Oh, yet. Yeah. So, but well, we're about to. And, All right. And I know people are going to be in the comments uh, talk about that Noel has some new stuff coming out uh, soon. So, uh, uh, we'll get to it in due time. Um, maybe not <laughs> right when it comes out, but... Like close to as close as possible. You'll see it here. Yeah, we'll see it here. Anyway, <laughs> three, right. two, one, let's go. Spade. Yeah, 2016. Well, the the album came out 2017. So I guess they were recording this before. Uh, wow. Before that came out. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Haven't even got to the song yet. We got no, no, I, I know, I know, I, I know. We got to back up, but I just saw the time. I'm like, yeah, I didn't know how before this was. Yeah, okay. Well, he hasn't played a single note, so uh, we don't have to. Right, that's what I'm talking about. I like it. Hell yeah, it's like that falsetto, man. I didn't, I didn't know Liam was like doing that at least at this time. You no, know, like because no. we we we've heard him hit that, you know, when we did Live Forever. Yeah. Like, but apparently Noel, when in the Oasis days, did the high parts on all that because uh, um, Sign of the Times, he thought it was a bit gay. Yeah. But uh, but like, the good to know that at least for like. This is like during his like big comeback, his big yeah. solo comeback, that he could hit those notes. Yeah. And um, like in terms of sound, like I'm I'm feeling like this is like if Paul McCartney gave a song to John Lennon to sing in the later days of the Beatles and had Verve cover it. And had the Verve cover it. <laughs> yeah. That's, there you go. There that's, you go. Because I, I see the orchestra. And I'm, I'm I uh, when I hear strings, I hear the Verve. And I and I and I relate to I'm I know the three things were going on at the same time, the Verve, Blur, and Oasis. Yeah, yeah. They were firing on all cylinders. Yeah, and producing so, kick-ass music. Yes. So when I see orchestra, I think of the Verve. Yeah, yeah. And and, and I feel like if you if you go back to the beginning, I'm not saying to do that, but yeah. or maybe do links uh, right there. I'm just saying. This song would play well as a Don't Look Back in Anger remix. If you yeah. took back the words off Don't Look Back in Anger and put these words on it, it would match. Yeah, yeah. I, I could, it could work. Because I think the build. It could work. Yeah, yeah. And, and like the whole sound and all of that. And um, 
I wouldn't say Don't Look Back in Anger is like a uh, apologetic song. I'm getting like big apologetic ness from Liam which I didn't ex- ever expect. No. No, and, and and we've we found out that Liam is he wants to make amends. Yeah. More so than Noel. Yeah. Yeah, he's ready to reform Oasis tomorrow. Yeah. And, and Noel is like fuck that shit. I don't want to do that. Which is funny because during our first initial Oasis breakthrough, we're like, oh, so Noel is the sensitive guy. Like, no. No, 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 no. It's at least these days. At least these days. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah. Uh yeah. So when I hear this, I just think I, I can hear Don't Look Back in Anger over this beat. Yeah, yeah. It could it could work. I think so. I, I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hundred percent. Somewhere in the crossfire of this whisper and war. Seems that I forgot just what I was fighting for. But underneath my skin there's a fire within still burning. guy Woo, man those vocals i can't i can't get over that very clean yeah very up there up there and like control too yes like liam has this like you know unique stance that makes it kind of hard to sing like you know he's craning his neck up and it's kind of hard to and hard to get you know air underneath that and he's always hands behind the back yeah which which does not free your chest or vocals. Yeah, even you know that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just, yeah. Being restrained. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, but we, so this is like, to me, so the reason why it's not like uh, in the forefront of my mind, his vocals, is because we've reacted to his latest stuff. Yeah, yeah. And this is, but this is a huge stepping stone. Yeah, get yeah. To there. He got. He was there before uh, whatever came out in um, on Come On You Know came yes. out. Yes. Yeah. And also, why me? Why not? Because that's where we were like floored. Yeah. Th- yeah. I was like, "There's no way this is this dude." Yeah. But this is a good gradual stepping stone. Yeah. And like he also pulled it out when we did the uh, "All You're Dreaming Of" yep. uh, reaction too. Like you know <laughs> he that was like you know very holiday but also you know he had the falsetto and all that and you know he's i i, I just yeah. feel like there's a, a a massive american market whether he wants it or not looming over him yeah that he hasn't been able to crack and that's frustrating and when we did crack it like he it just they didn't want him back for some reason uh, I, I, I saw a tweet from Liam, like someone asked, is like, why no American dates? And he's replied like, if if they don't want me, I can't go. That's very true. And it, it but it's it's just it's always looming. Cause the want is there. Yeah. It's just things aren't lining up. Yeah. Whether that's 
by previous arrangement or not. Yeah. You know, they're judging him based on Oasis actions, which yeah. is unfair. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I'll bet you, like, the, the first line in, in that, like, middle part was, like, the first bird to fly gets all the arrows. Let's put the past behind with our... All, all with all our sorrows, like that's an apology, probably not only to like to Noel, but also to everyone that he's wronged and his high flying birds. Yeah, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. But um, man, I it's it's a it's a good song. I this could stand alone here. Yeah, hundred percent. Change your name, come over here, and be a hit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do I, it. I mean, yeah. It's sad, but it's yeah. it's let's finish this yeah. up. <laughs> And he just walks off. Yep. That's classic Liam yeah, right it is. there. It is. Good we have a classic Liam moment. Yeah. In the midst of, you know, like a revelation. I, I from love him. that he hung up his tambourine lifestyle. Yeah. You know? Um He's got a towel now, I think. Yeah. And maracas. I, and, and maracas. Yeah. Um Hey. Automatic two thumbs up. We knew coming in this would be awesome. Like, come on. I, I, I will be one hundred percent honest with you. I Go for it. am loving Liam's solo journey over Knowles. So if, Same if I, here. If, if I had to pick a team, yeah. I'm going with the Rockstar. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he, You know what you're going to get with him. Yeah. You know what... You, Liam knows his people. And I'm not taking away from Knowles' kazoo playing band. Yeah. Like, I get it. There's artistry there, too. Yeah, yeah. You know, but... Yeah. I just, I just, I just, I feel Liam's music more yeah. than I do Knowles. Yeah, it, I mean, that may all change when we check out his new single, but I doubt it. But, like, yeah, like, like you said, like, Liam knows his people, and, like, Noel, he wrote all the Oasis songs, so he's going to get royalty well, from Wonderwall, yeah. like, forever and ever and ever. So he doesn't need the money. He can do what he wants. Liam knows his people. Uh, Noel knew his people. He used to know his people. New, yeah. new, past tense. Yeah, yeah. For like the first two Noel High Flying Birds records, he kind of stayed in line with that. But then, well, I was thinking after... about just just pure Oasis. I was like, yeah, yeah. Noel Noel knew his his people, and that's just pushed him out there. Yeah. And then he kind of went all outcast on everyone. Yeah, like, what the fuck are you like, doing, man? What are you doing, bro? I get it. You don't need to work the rest of your life because of Wonderwall, yeah. but, you know. <laughs> There's still life to live. There's still and music to make. Yeah. Uh, ordering, Whatever, bro. ordering frappes and bosses. Uh, <laughs> but um, but yeah. I, I will go out on a limb and say this, and then we'll wrap up the video. Of the two Gallagher brothers, I think Noel would be best on Would I Lie to You. Like, I feel like he has more stories and Liam hasn't doesn't have as good of a memory as as Noel does, so he could probably tell some interesting stories. I would say Noel remembers the stories that Liam forgot. Yeah. Or that are blocked. Yeah, yeah. By by the substance. Substances. So lots of substances at the same time. Yeah. So yeah, I, I agree with you on that. Yeah. So there you have it. There yeah. you have it. Thank y'all for liking, commenting, subscribing, hit the bell, and sharing with your friends. Yes. And until next time, wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck. And do something epic. Yes. And unplug. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Later.